I'm going to show you how to do a delay and repeat your prop triggers. Uh, this is good for if you don't want to hook up a PIR up to it and you just want your prop just to cycle through off and on uh, throughout the night. Uh, as you recall, this unit has a delay of 1 minute, 2 minute, 4 minute, 8 minute, all the way up to 15 minutes. And I'm going to show you here is how to program it up to 10 minutes and the same functions will apply for anything for 9 to 15 minutes. Uh, so this is really good for your props that you just want them to continually going off. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug up the unit. Ambient sound will start playing. And something to remember is uh, however long that you have the delay, if you want the ambient sound to continue playing throughout the whole time, the ambient sound needs to be the length of your delay. Uh, the ambient sound can be longer than the delay, but it cannot be shorter unless you want dead silence. So if you have a seven minute ambient sound and you're going with a 10 minute delay cycle, it's, you're gonna have two minutes of uh, silence. Uh, so next I'm gonna show you first how to program this thing up to 10 minutes. So you sit here and you hold the setup button, which is number three, for about three seconds. Enter your preferred maximum sequence length. Press one to select one minute, two to select two minutes. And I'm gonna select one minute and uh, just hit the buttons a couple times during the record cycle of it. But now it's going to tell you about delays. Press select your preferred trigger delay time. Press 1 to select 1 minute, 2 to select 2 minutes, 3 to select 4 minutes, and 4 to select 8 minutes. Times can be added together for a total of 15 minutes. So I'm going to program this up to uh, 10 minutes. So I'm going to hit the uh, number 4, which represents 8. Wait for the yellow light to quit flashing. Then we'll hit 2, which represents 2 more minutes, which is a total of 10. Hit the record button. And now this thing is set up for a 1 minute track and 10 minutes of delay. So my ambient sound is playing. And now I'm actually going to program my prop. So I'm going to hit the record button. And then I'm going to just hit the individual relays and then hit the record button again and so when this thing is actually triggered it will trigger the relays and then it will delay for 10 minutes and then it will redo it all over again so here I have a uh, uh, servo cable wire is what I call it and I've cut off uh, the ends off of it. I stripped off the red wire, white wire, and I'm gonna just twist these two together because red and white hot and signal needs to be connected. So then I'm gonna plug this up. Be sure you get the orientation right, as the white wire is your signal wire. And so as soon as I hook this thing up, this thing is going to trigger. And then it's going to wait 10 minutes and it's going to re trigger again and then it'll continue doing that up until the time you pull the power. So here we go. I'm going to set a timer over here so we can turn that on when we're ready. So now it's going to trigger. at this particular track this ambient sound is only probably about four minutes long roughly and then it's going to go to silence as I was telling you earlier so at about four minute mark I'll uh, let you hear the volume go away and then at the ten minute mark this thing should be triggered
So there you can see that this thing will re-trigger on its own. Uh, as long as you have the, the wires, red and white, connected together. And this thing is going to re-trigger every 10 minutes. Uh, give or take a few seconds, but of course I think uh, I didn't hit my timer just right. So it was a couple of seconds past 10 minutes. But <clears throat> now I want to show you how to program it to uh, just do a minute. So I'm going to pull the power. I'm going to unplug that servo wire off of it. And I'm going to plug it back up. <clears throat> Wait for the ambient sound to come on. Okay, now I'm going to hit button number three for the setup. Hold it down for about three seconds. Please enter your preferred maximum. We'll still do it for a minute. Press one to select. And then I want to have the repeat do it basically or delay every minute. And now I'm done. So I hit the record button. So now, just as soon as I hook up this wire, since I've got it tied together, it's going to trigger. And then every minute after that, it's going to trigger. So I'm going to try to get the stopwatch set this time as soon as I plug it up. <clears throat> and I left the same program on there as far as trigger my prop. So I set the trigger and the timer here. So basically about every minute is when my prop is going to trigger. So if you have something out in the yard that you just want to not run all the time, but just come on every now and then throughout the, throughout the night, this is a great way to do it. Yeah. No need to wear out your props, uh, having them run continuously all night long. Uh, so this will save some life on your props. In the meantime, some people that actually see the prop moving, they think they set it off when they really didn't. It was just set up on a repeat cycle. So here in a, another few seconds, it's going to uh, trigger. So right out a minute. Clear it. And I'm going to set it again. And in a minute, this thing will uh, go off again. As you notice, I'm still using the same uh, soundtrack. This soundtrack for the ambient sound is about four minutes long, so I don't need to cut it down to make it fit this routine. The music can actually be longer than the cycle itself. It just can't be shorter unless you want dead silence. And of course, it's not necessary that you have ambient sound or trigger sound if you don't want it. But here's fixing to go off again. There it goes, right out a minute. So, there we go. Another neat little feature of the prop controller. Uh, I'll try to find some more neat things this thing can do uh, here in the future.